Hi, I'm Anna from Harmony Focus Schools, and this is my advanced side of my PBL project. This is called protein synthesis. So in the beginning, we have a, a DNA, DNA strand, and um, DNA will make RNA, and RNA will make proteins. So first, in order to do that, the RNA polymerase will cut up the DNA strand in half, and we'll have it go down like this. And so with two separate DNA strands, we will have to code it. And so by coding, we will find the complementaries of each letter. So with T, we'll always go with A, and A will always go with U, and C will always go with G. And so we have to find the, um, the, <laughs> the future complementaries of each, and so we'll keep doing this as we go. So, and feel free to move this aside. G and C. G sees again. T will go with A, and C will go with G. Keep going. A will go with U. T will go with A. Make this one. And almost T will go with A. And C will go with G. And you have to finish trans transcribing this whole DNA strand, DNA strand to finish the process of transcription. So after transcribing this whole thing, we were actually reform reforming a RNA strands. And so now that's ready, uh, the DNA will go back together like this and respond it like this, and the RNA will go off to find another DNA strand to cut up. And so after we have an RNA strand, it is actually moved on to here. And so this is the process of translating, and it occurs in the ribosome. This is like the second process. So with the RNA strand, we will have to also code these. Find Each of these are codons, and we have to find the anticodons. So here, A will have the complementary with this which is U and U will go with A and G will go with C. And so here we have the anticodons with its strand here. And we will also code this one, which is A, U and C will go with U, A and G. So after this we will have to find the amino acids that belong in this. And so the amino acids will attach onto the anticodons. And so Always, it will always start with MET, which is the amino acid that starts first. And so looking at the second one, you will go with this one, because it's the second one, according to the chart. And so after this is done, the amino acids will bond, and however many amino acids will form, it will make a protein. And so after they bond, they move off into the body together, making a protein, and these anticodons will go off to find another codon to pair onto. And so the ribosome will move on to the other unfinished translated codons. And so C will go with U, A will go with U, G will go with C, and again the second one, G will go with C, U will go with A, and A will go with U. And just like before, we will find the amino acids, which is GLN for this part, and VAL for this part. And so again, they also have to bond together so they can make a protein. And so they will move on to the body looking for more amino acids too pair up with and they will also go on to find the other and so with the amino acids going around they will all bond together by peptide bonds and they will form one big protein and this will continue on to the body. Thanks for watching Harmony Public Schools.